Hello everyone and welcome to the first Rario pack drop for the upcoming T20 World Cup main stage where we have the first pack drop for the Zimbabwe and Ireland players and I have Nikhil Bai with me today to shed light over these players and the packs that are upcoming. Yes, thank you so much for having me and yes, going to be an interesting time trying to cover this for Rario in this sense. We know how the strategy works. Uh, we've had many of our common uh, users who've already won enough in the CPL itself. So hopefully more such wins, uh, more such smart strategy buys on marketplace as well. And yes, we are here to share everything that you need to know about that. Right, absolutely. And before we get to the packs, there's something even more important to share with all of you. So like you can yes. see on my screen, you have a $20 sign up bonus for everyone who signs up right now. So there's a link in the description. You can sign up from there and you get $20 which you can use to buy all your packs. So what are you waiting for? Sign up right now before you even go ahead and watch this video. The link is in the description. And we'll start off by also looking at the information for the upcoming pack drop. So like you can see here, the upcoming pack drop is for Zimbabwe and Ireland players. And again, this is going to happen today at 2 p.m. So I know most of you are already familiar with the process and how it works. So ensure that you buy the players that you want. One thing for you to keep in mind is that the black cards are not going to be there for these yeah. for these specific players. It's going to be only gold, silver and bronze probably because these teams are different in tier as compa comparison to the other teams. Yeah, and I think it's a, it's a fair call as well because once you have enough idea about the players that you get and how you want to use them, maybe then you'll want their different tiers as well. That, okay, now in this tournament, I'll still want a Paul Selinga black card or a Balbonica black card if you want that uh, those kind of picks, a Tektaka black card. But as of now, I think for now, uh, gold, silver and bronze still does the job for us. Yes, absolutely. And one thing for you to keep in mind is if you want for they are going to cover a few of the qualifier games. So I guess you will yeah. need these players for those specific games. You'll need at least two, two of each of these packs to try and play those specific games. So I'll share with you the player list and which packs are going to be available to you. And again, which is where this the bonus thing helps you. And if you're signing up now, you're getting that bonus, you can use that bonus itself to buy a pack. Whatever. They will some obviously terms and conditions which you can definitely read through, but uh, that will always at least help you get started, and then obviously you can go from there. Absolutely. So first up, this is the gold pool of players. Nikhil, by who are the players we are watching out for from this set? There are two players just screaming in my eyes: Josh Little <laughs> and Blessing Mizarbani. I don't think I need to look at anybody else. I just want these two guys. Yes, totally. And one thing again for you to keep in mind is that Radio is going to cover West Indies versus Ireland and West Indies versus Zimbabwe on D3. Now, most of you already have West Indies players covered. So, when you get these Ireland and Zimbabwe players, you can use them in these two games. And apart from that, which of, whichever of these teams go ahead to the next stage, you can also use those cards ahead because each team is going to go ahead and play another 4-5 set of games and West Indies if they go ahead too. Yeah. Yes, and of course, I did not say Sikandar Raza because I didn't want Viren to jinx that. But okay, so team player away. <laughs> <laughs> no comments on that. But anyway, that is the gold pool. Silver pool, now, uh, Nikhil, by one concern that people have, silver and bronze pools are going to be the same. But one concern that they have is many of these players might not feature in the 11. So how do you approach that? And which are the players that you watch out for? And how do you approach the players who might not play? Uh, so, I think the one way to look at this is there, there obviously will be a smart allocation of the uh, players. So, it's going hmm. to be unlikely that you will get all these players in one pack, which will not play hmm. But remember, as we talked about, Rario is not for short term. Rario, you will get a lot of benefit in the long run. So, whoever hmm. you think is not starting now or not in form, they'll obviously be part of the future games that the platform covers so and of course they are putting the players out so that they are going to cover it otherwise it makes no sense for them also to put out for just one game so i think that yeah. logic said you should probably try and keep an eye on the all-rounders because again that is me i'm all-rounder fc 
So somebody like a Curtis Camper, a Mark Adair, mm. a George Docker. Now these guys play other other leagues as well. They play other domestic tournaments as well. So these can always be handy for you if they get there. And uh, obviously you have the big names as well in terms of you have uh, Paul Sterling, you have Valverde, you have Simi Singh. Now these guys have also played Zimbabwe. You have Blessing Muzarabani who also plays in PSL. So you will have enough uh, options. But yes. And all I'll say is, don't uh, sell directly if you get somebody who's not playing. Just hmm. wait for some time, see how things are shaping up, and then try and sell them, sell those players. Right, absolutely. And I'll just share with you how and where you can buy these packs from. So the link is already in the description of from where you can buy the packs. I'll show you that specific screen and where the packs are on offer. There's no reservation required for these packs. You can go ahead and buy them directly at 2 p.m. and keep in mind that you should buy at least two two of each of these packs so that you're eligible to play each and every of those contests i think you can buy up to three for the first two packs of 11 and four dollars but even if you buy two you can start if you have the funds you can go ahead and buy three two yes yeah you can you can have you'll have all the info uh, from there on just the screen then you just go to the screen so i think most of that is very self self explanatory there Yes, absolutely. So that was the key information we would like to share. We would like to share with all of you. Apart from that, if you guys have any questions in terms of the upcoming pack drops or how would you use these cards in the game, I'm also attaching a playlist in which we also described each stage and each part of this game. So you can watch that playlist and you'll get a good idea of how you can go ahead and play the game if you're new to it. And if you're already playing it, then I'm sure you already have a good idea. So that. Great then. Thank you so much to everyone who tuned in and we hope that you enjoy the first of many pack drops that are upcoming. There are going to be a lot of prizes awaiting you from whatever I understand up to 15 to 20 crore of prizes, cash rewards and maybe some cards too. Who knows? But yes, a lot of cash rewards for you. So go ahead and get your packs and all the best to all of you for the upcoming D3 games. Yes, please, Sharaja as well. See you soon.